I'm always looking for better ways to store my little electronic components or screws or nuts. And sometimes these drawers, they're just too big and take up too much space. So I wanted something small, but also something I could configure. So these are actually built like Lego blocks. So you can snap them together in any configuration. You can go wider, you can go taller, but all the individual pieces will print on a small printer like an Ender 2 Pro. But this has been discontinued by Creality. So what's the replacement? This, the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. I should have got one of these a while ago. They've been out for a year, but the price has come down. I picked this up for $199 at Micro Center. It's on sale right now, and I am blown away the features that you get on this compared to what I was using before, and it prints so much faster and so much better. So let's talk about this a little bit, and then I'll show you these, which I'm calling my chet blocks right here at Filament Friday. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. Now this machine comes mostly assembled out of the box. There's a few things you have to do. There's this bracket you have to unscrew which holds everything in place and then set that aside. You're not going to need it. But really just hook up this uh, PTFE tubing to guide the filament. A few other minor screws you need to remain or remove for the bed. But other than that, it's pretty much fully assembled. But they do give you a nice printed manual with great pictures inside to show you how to set everything up. And even how to run through the self-diagnostics or the self-setup that it goes through to calibrate everything. I mean, this is a $199 machine. The last time I saw something like this was on a Prusa for a lot more money. And it's a touch screen, which is very intuitive, very easily to understand. Even my $699 P1S from Bamboo Labs doesn't have a touch screen. So the fact this one has it, is amazing for that price. It even includes a nice tool kit. So the few screws that you do have to put in, they include a nice T-wrench, a, a T-Allen uh, wrench setup. This is a great tool and they include it in the kit along with grease for greasing the uh, base and a few other pieces that you may need and even replacement pieces. So for $199, they didn't really scrimp on anything other than filament. They give you a real small sample of filament. So I put a full size filament roll on it. But that would make sense for $199. Now you notice I'm talking the whole time this thing is printing a chep cube. It's that quiet. It's quiet. I can talk while it's printing. I can have this in the room while it's printing. And it's printing twice as fast as that Ender 2 Pro. I mean, this is going to be like, I think, a 17-minute uh, chep cube at a 0.2 layer height. This Benchy, which was the first thing I printed on it, came out really nice. This was a 20-minute Benchy. That's almost as fast as the Core XY machines, and this is a bed slinger. So the quality of this is phenomenal. If you look at it, I'm, I'll just spin it around here. And it's very, very good. It's not perfect, but good. And I can't even find the seam. It's really hard to find the seam on the smokestack. So the print quality is good, the speed is good, the noise is low. I honestly can't find a whole lot wrong with this machine. Here's the Chep Cube finished. I would not say this is the best Chep Cube I've ever seen, but it's really good at a 0.2 layer height. The top surface could have been better, but overall I would say this is a decent print. If I were to print the same CHEP cube, but the same infill, the same 0.2 layer height using my CHEP Cura 0.2 good profile, it would take just about twice as much time or 32 minutes. Another interesting feature that it's got for a low cost printer, it's got a camera right here monitoring the bed. So you can do time lapses or through their app, you can actually monitor it on your phone. Now one drawback is it outputs a .avi file that it puts on the SD card. And so I'm a Mac user, I'm looking for MP4. So if I want to use it in a video, I got to convert the AVI to a .MP4, which I did with this video of it printing a CHEP block. And it's blurry, it's just not as good because of the conversion. Now I did spend the extra $149 and got the AMS light. You put four spools of different colors on here. Their PTFE tubing goes into here, it'll accept four different spools. So this is one of them, but you would move it to over here. So these four would feed into there, and then you got four color 3D printing 
on a low cost machine. 149 plus 199, it was 349. I couldn't pass it up. I'll save using multicolor for future videos. I got some other ideas I want to use. But right now I want to talk about my chip blocks. And they're just a lot of fun for me. And they're all designed in Tinkercad. But there's really five basic parts. There's the top that snaps and holds things together. It also goes on the bottom. And then there's a single block and also a double block. And then the drawer inside is double wide or there's a split version. And then the single block has just, you know, a single drawer. And they snap together nicely. Now I printed them this way so I didn't have to use any infill, but that dripped a little bit right here on these circles. So I had to use a knife and just cut off that excess. But they snapped together really nice once I did that. Put the drawer in place. And then you snap this on top. Or you could offset it if you want to go wider and use a couple of them. And at any point in time, you can put these in and stiffen things up. And it, like I said, there's one on the bottom. So this just snaps and holds everything in place. Now these drawers aren't super deep, so long circuit boards aren't going to fit. But little sensor boards like these fit just fine. And speaking of circuit boards, have you seen that PCBWay now offers you the option to put an image not just a one color, a multicolor image. I mean, your picture, your logo, multicolor logo, you can put it right on a circuit board. Check this out. PCBWay is a great deal. You get 10 boards for five bucks plus shipping. But now they have a feature where you can do color printing and image color printing right on your circuit board. This is really cool. So you got a circuit board like this on the left and you want to put this image on the right on your board. They actually run it through their special printer and it'll print that on the circuit board. So it'll come out like this or the one on the right with the pads popping through. So if you want to know more about it, check out PCBWay.com and see if you can make your circuit board more personalized for you. So I'm not ready to release these to the public yet. I will release it to my Patreon supporters. My Gold and Silver will get access and also my Thangs members will get access so they can print it and give me their feedback. I'd love that. So a little perk for supporting the channel. Um, but bit deep down, it's about this small machine for $199. I printed all these on here. It came out, came out great. You can send through Wi-Fi, which I didn't mention, or there's an SD card you can copy to that. I've done it both ways. And it really just prints excellent. And for $199, man, grab one of these if you can. If they go back to $249, it's still a good machine, but that $199 is a sweet spot. And I've got a lot of beginner stuff I was working on with the Ender 2 Pro and also an Ender 3, and you know, I just had to scrap it because that's outdated. This is where things are going clearly. So I'm gonna shift things over to this. So if you're interested in that content, let me know in the comments below. If you've got one of these machines and you wanna give me your opinions, let me know in the comments below. Also, are you interested in anything like this? Let, Matt, let me know that in the comments below as well. And I wanna shout out a special thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Many of you have been with me for a long time and I really appreciate it. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or a membership at Thangs.com. And if nothing else, click on the logo down there and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Chuck Hellebuck's Electronic Products and Filament Friday.